Fallen in Love is about the relationship between George and Anne Boleyn over a period of 15 years. You see them rise and fall a few times, but mainly a big rise and a big fall. I am Emma Connell and my character is Anne Boleyn. And I am Scott Ellis and I'm playing George Boleyn, Anne's brother. Very good. well. And quickly. It's been a good day today. We've got a lot done. Act four nailed today. Five days to go. Five days to go. How long have you been rehearsing for? Three weeks. Well, this is the third week now, yeah. So uh, that's, that's not a massively long rehearsal period, but when you're just working with just the two of you, it feels like a good amount of time. A year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, opening night is, is it eight days away? It's no, uh, a week today. Yeah, Tuesday. Tu a week on Tuesday. Any nerves? Uh, a week on Tuesday. I Can haven't I, got nerves. We yet. need to do that again because I said something stupid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can um. use that. Uh, first, I did King Lear, and then the Magic Fishbone, and now this. And uh, so the, the cast sizes have got smaller as, as we've gone along. We had uh, six, seven of us in the, ma in, in the forest and then just three in the Magic Fish Bone now, just down to the two. So they're trusting Nobody me with... Nobody likes working with him. No, they're, no, they're trusting me with more lines. That's why I'm new more, in. More percentage <laughs> of, the, of, the, of the piece. But it's, this one's much more serious than either of those two pieces. Hmm. More serious than King Lear. It's so good that Jo wrote the play and she's directing her because she knows it inside out and she has a wonderful writing ability. The scenes that she's written in for the play, which the audience will kind of act as voyeurs to, um, are just wonderful. They're so explosive and heightened emotion, but not in a way that's unrealistic and unfamiliar to, to the audience, which is why they're so... Um, palpable, I suppose, to a modern audience, these characters, especially in this play. They're actually living and going through the turmoil that humans go through today as well, so I think that's, that's important. At first I thought, oh my God, how am I going to play Anne Boleyn? She's a massive figure in history. She's got massive boots to fill. But with Joe's direction and with the writing, it's so um, accessible to reach her and understand what she went through and the pressure she was under and she goes through things that women still go through today. Personal stuff that Anne goes through that I know people have, that have gone through so um, no, no different back then in 1500s than it is today. We're doing um, at Gipswick Hall in Ipswich in Suffolk we're doing two shows a day um, 6.30 or 6pm. 6, 6 o'clock and half past 8 I think and it half is. Eight, and that's through the week and then at the weekends we're at the Tower of London doing three shows a day. And it's 3.30. 6.30 6 and 9 o'clock. And 9. I think it's going to be hard work but I think it'll be very rewarding. <laughs>